Hi, today I will give you an introduction to C-Spheres in ZBrush 4. Let's start with an empty document, open your tool and select C-Sphere. And then draw in the first C-Sphere, which is called the Root Sphere. Every C-Sphere model has one Root Sphere. You can hold the Shift key to snap the alignment and to create your model and add more C-spheres to it, we have to edit the object. So you can either press the edit button here, edit object, or press the T key on your keyboard. And once you did this, you have four modes available to create, move, scale, or rotate the C-spheres. So let's come to the first mode, how to create new C-spheres, and this is called the draw mode. You can activate it by pressing the draw button or the Q key on your keyboard. Okay, now I'm in draw mode. I press X to activate X symmetry. And then I hold the left mouse button down and drag the mouse. And here you can see how I draw in this new C spheres. And when I hold the control key down while I'm doing this, I'm moving away these new child C spheres from the parent in the direction they were added. And again I draw in new C-spheres onto the last one and hold the control key and move them away from the parent. And if I don't hold the control key while I draw the new C-sphere, I change the size of it by moving the mouse and holding the left mouse button down. Okay, cool, next mode. You want to change the position of your C-spheres? Then click the Move button or press the key W. Now you can either move one selected sphere, or you hold the Alt key pressed, like so, and then you move the chain of C-spheres without stretching the links. Very useful. If you want to scale the spheres, you use the scale mode that can be reached by the E key or the scale button. You can scale the spheres separately by selecting and dragging one sphere. But if you hold the Alt key pressed while doing this, you can inflate or deflate the chain. And the last mode is Rotate. Press the Rotate button or the R key. This is also very simple. Select a node and drag it and the chain is rotated then around this parent. Okay, if you are happy with the shape and you defined your base mesh, it's time to make your skin. There are two kinds of skin, unified skin and adaptive skin. The adaptive skin can be previewed anytime by pressing the A key and you can leave this mode by pressing the A key again. Adaptive skinning means that a mesh is created that is based on an analyze of the structure of your sphere model. When using unified skinning, all the C-spheres are merged together and a unified, more kind of arbitrary mesh is created. You find the skins here on the right in the menu, adaptive and unified skin. And now let's create both and see the difference. You can do this by pressing the make adaptive skin or make unified skin buttons. Let's start with the unified skin. Then select the created mesh. Here it is, a very dense and unified mesh. And now let's come to the adaptive skin. Press make adaptive skin, 
and select the created tool. I will stick to this. This is the most commonly used skinning method. For me, it has more of a base mesh. It is more low poly and takes the size of the spheres into account. But anyway, you could change the density before creating this. Then I dynamesh the object with 128 resolution and begin sculpting on this mesh. Okay, that's my introduction to C-Spheres with ZBrush. It's a great method for creating base meshes. If you like my video, then like it. And if you like my channel, then subscribe. Support me on my Patreon and my social platforms and come back soon to JNM.